Hey there, coaches. My name is Rich Hargett, and I'm the head football coach at Emmett High School out here in Emmett, Idaho. And I'm also a lead consultant for coaches all over the country with the surface-to-air system. If you have questions, please put them in the comment section below, and I'll do the best I can to get back to you as soon as possible. Before we get started, hit that like button, and also subscribe to the surface-to-air system YouTube channel if you've not done so already. All right, in today's video, coaches, we're taking a look at how to utilize uh, an elk back okay and i know you may be saying to yourself holy cow what are we talking about about an elk back well the elk back is what we call it anytime we bring a big defensive personnel obviously i live in idaho and so you get a lot of big big type of creatures out here so we thought it'd be really fun to remind our kids using that modern um and so we are going to bring in a big defensive player in this case it's this kid right here He's a 6'4", 230-pound defensive end, and we want to bring him into the game because we feel like defenses will not recognize him. So first play, you have a 6'2 defense. Okay, We're running A-gap power. We're going to be pulling the backside, in this case, the left guard. We're inserting the fullback, and now what you see is, is this elk back is going to get downhill and just watch him clear a path. He just finds a guy. He has no assigned blocker. He's just going to drive a guy out of the way, and we run right behind him, and we spring this long run using that elk back. Okay, I think what it does is it really gives you an extra oomph, so to speak, um, in the backfield. We put him in a variety of different places. This is what we call a Yukon set. Um, it's one of our Northwest sets. But again, I really like it because the back is sort of hidden back there. Okay, It's really hard for them to recognize. They have to have a guy in the box checking personnel groupings, checking to ensure they know where he is and, and when he's in the game. Um, and it just it's a really easy way to get an athlete on the field and not have to teach him how to carry the ball and catch the ball and how to run her out. He basically knows which side of the ball to insert on and what to go do. He doesn't have a, a signed blocking scheme. On this play, a little counter play, a little GF counter. And again, you can see there the elk back's going to do a good job helping clear the hole. Okay, he's going to get downhill, just watch him right from the snap. He's going to get downhill. He takes a guy to the ground, and all of a sudden you run past him and another big game. I just think it's a really useful way to use some of your bigger defensive players and get them involved in your game plan every week without having to come up with an extra complicated scheme. All right, coaches, hopefully this video was helpful for you. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and also subscribe to the Surface to Air System YouTube channel. If you have questions, put them in the comment section below. We'll get back to you. You can reach me on Twitter at Coach Argett or the Surface to Air System account at S2A System. You can find out more about what we do by going to surface to airsystem.com. These formations and plays are all included in our official S2A System playbook, which is now available on our website. If you head to our website, surface to airsystem.com, and then click on store, uh, you'll find our comprehensive playbook written physical playbook along with game film attached. So again, coaches, hope this video was helpful for you. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you in the next one.